What is JSON? Think of JSON as a simplified way to represent data. For example, if you want to store information about a person, you could write it like this. First, let's start with curly braces. In JSON, curly braces are used to define an object. Everything inside the curly braces represents key value pairs that store data. For example, here, name is the key and Jake is the value. In JSON, keys are always enclosed in double quotes and string values should also be enclosed in double quotes. Then we add the second key value pair. The key is age and the value is 25. Unlike string values, numbers in JSON do not need to be enclosed in quotes. This allows JSON to differentiate between text and numerical data. Now, for the third key value pair. Here, hobbies is the key and the value is an array. In JSON, arrays are enclosed in square brackets and can contain multiple values separated by commas. The values inside this array are swimming and basketball, both of which are strings and must be enclosed in double quotes. Each key value pair is separated by a comma, except for the last one. The JSON structure remains enclosed within curly braces to complete the object. This structure allows us to represent multiple types of data, including strings, numbers, and arrays, in a structured format. For this to truly be a JSON file, we need to change the file extension to .json. This ensures that the file is recognized as a JSON document and can be properly interpreted by programs that read JSON data. If you enjoy our videos, grab our free JSON playbook and cheat sheet by joining our Kofi community. Links in the comment.